Greetings to one and all, it's your old buddy Jay here. And I just thought I'd do a quick video because I've had a couple of requests from people asking me what kind of pencils I'm currently using to do uh, various drawings and illustrations. And I thought I'd put together a little tutorial on the last pencil that you'll ever need. Now, in the past, over the years, I've always preferred, you know, your good old traditional HB, um, which has been a very trusty pencil uh, over time. But the thing is, is that I am finding that, you know, uh, doing a lot more illustrations with a lot more sort of finer work, the uh, the the um, carbon is just a little bit soft, and also not so great for the environment to be sort of burning through these little wooden pencils all the time. So, in more recent uh, months, years, I have actually favoured. Um, this one, which is essentially a um, one of those little grabby pencils, and I'll try and get my hands in the middle of the screen if I can. And um, yeah, what it is is just a you know it's a, it's a Stedler or a Stetler, however you want to say it. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how I put this together. So for my actual illustrations now, I do use a variety of different leads. Um, but mainly, uh, I don't tend to use the one that came with this, I think this was just an HB. So what you want is the case of one of these. Um, and then what I do is I buy the uh, sets of 12 for the um, 12 by 2 mil 2H, um, if you can see that, 2H uh, uh, refills, which are much better, nice and strong, not too soft, uh, give you some nice textures when you're actually doing your illustration. So I'm just going to quickly put together um, this uh, this master pencil and uh, yeah, maybe it'd be useful to you. It's just what I find comfortable and I actually picked this up because there's a very good uh, comic book illustrator called David Finch and uh, it's also the way that he uh, does his pencils as well and I started using that technique and really got, really found that it was a really comfortable way to, um, to actually hold the pencils but also so um, yeah, when you're drawing for a long time, you don't want to get fatigue or hand cramps. So there's a little, a little technique that you can use where you just basically wrap masking tape around the center of this just to give yourself a little bit more control. And uh, I will say that uh, in terms of uh, controlling on the kind of finer points of things, it is, uh, is very, very good, uh, good pencil to put together. So I'm just going to do that for you quickly now. So here we go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. So, when you finally finished, uh wrapping your pencil in masking tape it should look a little bit something like this so uh, what it is it has a kind of bulbous part here and the reason that's so useful um, is that when you're drawing I find that it's very good that it kind of sits in between your uh, thumb and forefinger and gives you real sort of a nice sort of rest here it gives you real control of the uh, of the pencil tip and uh, yeah I just really have found this to be incredibly comfortable um, obviously you can make this part as big or as small as you like I usually have it around this size just because I, I tend to find that that's the most kind of comfortable sort of position for me and I can sort of shift my fingers up and down that there just to basically get different levels of control depending 
and what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I would say that this is probably, as I've put in the descriptor, the last pencil you'll ever need. And then you can just keep refilling the leads, which, you know, you can get like sets of 12 or 24 or whatever. And and, uh, and I think that you know, in terms of saving the environment, I think it's quite good to not be chopping up the wood and, uh, you know, kind of stick it in your pencil sharpener all the time. Uh, and just essentially just finding, uh, you know, uh, shaving this tip down to a fine point using the, the little uh, carbon grinder there. So yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you found this useful um, this is what I've been using uh, sort of in the last sort of couple of years and I do find it um, incredibly uh, comfortable and you know having been through a lot of different pencils and a lot of different um, equipment over the years I do find this to be uh, the most comfortable solution to um, sitting and drawing for a long period of time so yeah that's all I've got to say about it so uh, until next time uh, be good stay safe and be kind to one another cheers <laughs>